Okay, so let's make our swap here. I'll make a new folder, swap example, and a new main echo. That's out of there. X main. So what does swap take? X and Y, and what's the type? It's not int, right? It's a star int, pointer to an int. Okay. Uh, I don't think I mentioned this before, but right, you have your two star ints. You're allowed to do this. That's the same thing. So if you have multiple arguments that are all the same type, you can remove one of them. You can just are we following X and Y here are both pointers to ends. Okay. So I have X is one and whoops. Y is two. And I want to swap X and Y. So I take the address of X and Y and now I'm going to see what they were. So this program is a valid program that's going to give the wrong result, but let's just run it to see, okay? Okay, so it printed one, two, which is it didn't swap them, right? Because that sort of function doesn't do anything. The reason why this is a valid program, like it compiles, is there's no return, so I don't have to do anything to remove this spec here. I can just do nothing, and that's okay. So I need to swap x and y. So the way you normally swap a variable, so if I had, uh, you know, a is 1, whoops, and b is 2, um, and I wanted to swap them, I'd make a temp variable equal to a, and then I'd say um, a equals b, and I'd say b equals temp, okay? Right, that's how we would normally do swaps. There's a shorter form of sort of second, but that's the basic idea. Okay? Everybody following what we're trying to do with the swap here? So to make it use the pointers, we just have to follow the pointers. So this becomes star. Well, let me replace the A's and B's here with X and Y. And then the B's become Y. And this becomes star X. And then star X equals a star Y. And then star Y. And that's how you swap to the values inside of pointers. So we're, you're referencing this pointer, get the value. So what's the, what's the value of temp? It's one, right? It's one. Okay, and then we put inside of x the value inside of y. What's the value inside of y? Two. So we put inside of x two, so now x is equal to two. The reason why we need a temporary variable is now x is 2 and y is 2. So if we were to run star y equal x, star y, we end up, it doesn't do anything. So that's why we need a temporary variable. So that's why we say. Okay? Everybody following? I think every, most everybody got that. No? Yes, there is a shorter form of this. Okay, so remember we're allowed to do multiple assignments. I can say um, x comma y equals 1 comma 2. Turns out you can do the swap the same way. So there's your uh, surprisingly simple but hard to understand example. <laughs> Everybody get that? And the computer, the computer won't mess that. No, it like does everything on that line of equals. It does it the same and then time. And then puts it in the left. It does it at the same time, you're saying? Yeah. So, so it doesn't like overwrite it as part of it. So it lets you swap things really easily. It's still confusing uh, the difference between star x and y and, and x, y, star n. They're, they're supposed to be the same thing, right? No, no. because no. n is a type, so star is part of the type name. Part of the type name, oh. okay. Oh, uh, okay, so, but does that mean x and y are? So, so star means multiple things. It means dereference. Right here. It also means a pointer to a type. It also means multiplication. Okay, well, forget about multiplication for now. 
Uh, wait, so D, it means a D so reference. And a this is part of the type name. This is an operator. This is like plus or minus or division. Okay. That's D reference. But this is part of the name of the type. Yeah, so it's a pointer. For example, we've also seen that in other places, right? Remember we had slices of ints? Um, you know, I say X is a slice of int. But brackets are also dereferencing, right? getting a particular one. So this is the same as, let's see, this is part of the type. This is an operator, OK? So the stars are the same way. This is part of the type, and this is an operator, OK? So the first one would read it is a, it's a pointer to an end. Yeah. This is a pointer to an end. This means you reference the pointer. Give it the value of y, put that in there, okay. and vice versa. Okay. It's interesting that we find this like, oh, no big deal, and this is super confusing. Um, <laughs> even though they're very similar. It's because we're, I think we're more used to the, we, yeah. we haven't used pointers yet. That's right. That's why. You're you certainly used to seeing them, that's why. Okay, so we'll do rotate together real quick. So rotate is like a more abstract version. So I'll show you the three parameters first. So we want to rotate x, y, and z, right? So actually, this is going to be pretty easy, right? Star x, star y, star z equals, well, star y, star z, star x. So x becomes y, and y becomes z, and z becomes x, right? So if you do that on three different lines, it would Yes, yeah. you'd have to use temporary variables. Okay, so what about open ended? Any number. Know how many we're going to put in. Okay, so what's the type going to be for that? So uh, args. Uh, 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 exactly. So except stars, they're all pointers. Star. Okay. So let's think this through. I've never heard this function, so. Um, Uh, let's think about how we want to s a swap a, a list of, of numbers. So if we have a big list here, right, and we want, um, if we call this A, B, C, and D, we want to end up with B, C, D, A. All we have to do is say one of them, the first one. Yes, absolutely. So we'll save the first one. So let's just do, if the length is zero, we'll just do nothing, OK? Because we don't want to have an error in that case. And we'll save the first one. Uh, so first value, colon equal, star args, zero. Um, cool, that works. I thought it might need parentheses, but it didn't. Um, So we have our first value. We save it to A, and so now we can safely overwrite it. Right? So let's rename this pointer. So I'm going to have my index and my args here. So index is zero. at i equals, sorry, I should do it this way. Well, I'll do it this way, and then you, you can tell me whether this is more or less confusing. Um, okay, so here's the idea. I think maybe we're better off using just I. Then maybe it's a little more. Is that maybe a little more clear? Great. 
course, this has a bug in it. We could do Rx minus 1. Yeah. So we could do this. Right? Right. And then they add uh, the last line would be the filling of the first value. Exactly. Because at that point, we would have B, C, D, right? And we would want to change that last D to an A. And so we could do that. Uh, we could say um, star of Rx at length of Rx minus 1 equals first value. That's one way to do it. The other way to do it would be uh, an if in here. If i is equal to like r times 1, then we set it the first value. That would work as well. Um, I think Bob is going for MVP. <laughs> I think the trophy, if it's looking good, it's just better. OK. So this code is like hard to understand if you're looking at it. I'm just, if you if you try to carefully read it, I think it can start to make a little sense. But um, that's how you implement the rotate. Okay. Any questions about that? We we could do this all without any of the pointers. It just then wouldn't work in main. That's right. It wouldn't modify the original. Let's see if it actually works, right? It's always good to test programs, you're right. So I just changed swap to rotate because rotating two things is the same as swapping them. Right? Everybody agree with that? That makes sense, right? It worked. So what if we have three things? Does it work for three? That's right. Two, three, one. No. Wait, we're just supposed to go one over? Not. It's like they're shifting everything over. Yeah. We're rotating them. So the value of x went all the way to z. I have that code on GitHub if anybody wants to grab it. And you can do this for as many things as you want. Uh, I will be going the other direction as an exercise for someone. We don't need to do that right now. I think we've done enough pointers for now. Um, but you could rotate the other way. The point being. We use pointers with structs. That's why we have to talk about pointers. OK. Yeah, structs well, should be vastly easier. <laughs> Any more questions about that? I would drop and restart on the next topic. Okay, thanks. So maybe take five minutes? Yeah. Thanks. That's great.